How to make 5K a month from day trading? Well, honestly, you're not gonna like this answer. You don't think about making 5K a month. I actually said this on another video that I made, right? You do not want to focus on money goals because the money goal is not going to bring you the money. What's going to bring you the money is the skills, right? So that's what we're gonna talk about today because a lot of people focus too much on the money. Now, hear me out. You can actually start focusing on the money when you consistently make let's say $300 to $1,000 a month. That's when you can actually say, all right, I'm making around 500 to $1,000 a month from day trading consistently. Let me increase my size. That's how you set money goals. You do not set money goals in the beginning because you don't have enough skills yet to actually produce consistency. And I see a lot of new traders fall in this trap, right? They focus too much on the money. Build your skills first, and then you can focus on your money. Because once you consistently make $1,000 a month, then you can increase your contracts and eventually you will get to that 5K a month. So let's talk about what do we have to do to build that consistency, all right? Because remember, that's what's gonna really make you the 5K a month. Number one, you have to have an edge, right? An edge is basically a strategy that works more often than not, okay? And then when you have that strategy, you have to build skills. And this is where the disconnect is at because a lot of people think that since they have an edge, they can automatically make money consistently. No, once you have a strategy, then you have to practice that strategy over and over and over. When you practice that strategy over and over and over, guess what? You are building skills. So what is a skill? A skill is education plus experience, okay? So you have to have the right education and then you have to have experience. What is experience? Experience is time, right? practicing something over and over and over. And this is what you have to understand, guys. Just because you have a strategy doesn't mean automatically, you know, by next month, you're gonna make 5K. No, you have to practice that strategy in real time, get used to that strategy in real time over and over and over. Now, once you have that strategy, guys, the best thing to do is to create filters for that strategy because your strategy alone, most likely is probably not gonna produce the results that you want. So a good example is, let's say that you're looking for the market to pull back to a key level. Let's go to the chart real quick. So right here, guys, we have a strategy that you can use to help you build your 5K, right? So we're looking for the market to break a key level. Notice how the market broke this key level right here. And basically the market went above this key level and pulled back, right? Now we're looking for some type of reaction. What do we have? We have a nice bullish bar. So let me actually zoom in for you guys. We have a nice bullish bar and you can go long, right? That is a strategy that you can use in the market. Let me show you another example. Right here, guys, we have a key level. The market broke that key level. It pulled back to that key level, right? And we have a nice little double reaction at that level, right? You can go short and basically look for profits to the downside. So the key to this, guys, is you have to make sure that your system is very clear and it's something that repeats, right? So let me show you one more example. All right, here's another example. The market broke this key level, pull back to this key level, give you a nice rejection. We're looking to go short, right? Um, if you don't know how to enter the market, again, you're looking for, you know, some nice size candlesticks. If you're going short, you're looking for a nice bearish candlestick. If you're going long, you look for a nice bullish candlestick, right? We're keeping it simple as possible. Remember, the key to actually making 5K a month is consistency. In order to get that, you have to have a simple strategy. It has to be very clear, and then you have to attach filters to that. So how can we attach a filter to this strategy? Well, let me show you a good example. All right, so right here, we can say, all right, if the market doesn't break out of that key level a lot, we don't wanna take the trade. So notice how the market broke out of this key level, but it barely broke out, right? Just a little bit. And then all of a sudden it reversed. So we can say, all right, that is one filter that we're gonna have with our strategy. Because if you just come up with a strategy, most likely that strategy is not gonna work by itself. You need to have filters in place. And this is where a lot of lazy people and a lot of people that are complainers, they don't understand when to trade a strategy and when not to trade a strategy, okay? And the filters will help you with that. Now, let's talk about the different things that most new traders don't focus on and is actually holding them back, right? A lot of times, new traders, they waste their time on things that don't even matter. And when you waste your time on things that don't matter, what's gonna happen is it's gonna slow you down. It's gonna slow the process down. In order to get to success as quick as possible, you need to focus on the right things, not the unnecessary things. So let's talk about that, right? One thing a lot of traders do, right? And they waste a lot of time with this. 
they actually try to do things by themselves, right? Guys, I'm telling you right now, you're gonna waste a lot of time struggling with trading, okay? Trying to do it by yourself. If you look at your favorite sports player, I guarantee you, he has a coach. You look at all these rich billionaires, millionaires, they have a mentor, right? Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, all these billionaires, millionaires, what they have in common is a mentor. They didn't try to do it by themselves. So stop wasting time to try to figure out things by yourself. Invest in your education and speed up the process. Now, the next thing that's gonna slow you down is not back testing enough. Guys, listen, you need reps, right? Repetition is gonna help you speed up your success. So the more you back test, right, the more you're gonna gain confidence and the more setups that you're gonna see so your brain can get used to these patterns, right? It's all about pattern recognition. Once your brain understands these patterns, you're gonna gain confidence, you're gonna gain experience, and you're gonna definitely do better in the live market. Let me ask you a question real quick. Which trader you do you think is gonna do better? A trader that been trading for one year, but that trader only took, let's say, 10 trades out of that year. And then you have another trader that been trading for three months, and he took, let's say, around 100 trades. Which trader do you think has more experience? I guarantee you, it's a trader that's taken 100 trades because he has more trades under his belt, right? More repetition. So guys, you have to do this. You have to back test like crazy. One way I back test, let me show you guys real quick. Let's go to the chart because Overall, I do not hit the replay button. That's not what I do when I back test. How I back test is, all right, let's say I have a simple strategy. This is why you have to have a simple strategy. Let's say my strategy is a moving average or a trend line, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to the market, right? And I'm gonna say, all right, the market is at this 50 moving average. Is it the time that I wanna trade? Yes, it is the time that I wanna trade. Let's look at the reaction at that moving average. What setup did I get at that moving average, okay? You should at least have maybe uh, multiple setups, especially if you're looking for candlesticks, right? Let's say you have two main setups. Let's say you have a double bottom, um, engulfing, whatever, right? And you're looking for those setups. Okay, boom, we have a nice engulfing right here. All right, we went long, boom. So this is was a win, right? And I'm doing this as quick as possible because I want more reps under my belt. So let's go to the next day. The next day, all right, it hit the 50 moving average. We have a nice engulfing, boom, let's go. You go short right here. This was a winner, right? So I'm gonna do this over and over and over. Here, moving average right here, right? Is this the time I'm trading? Let's say this is not the time I'm trading. Guess what? I can't count this, right? Boom. So the next day, um, let's say there was no trade. Boom. The next day, all right, there is a trade. Let's say we took a trade and we got stopped out. Boom, this was a loser, all right? And I'm gonna do this every single day. I'm gonna go over my levels. I'm gonna look at the structure of the market. I'm gonna look at the setup that I use, okay? And then from there, I'm gonna say, is this was a winner or a loser? And then if I collect enough data, I'm gonna look at the stats and I'm gonna see if this is a winning strategy, okay? Of course you have to see, all right, um, the risk to reward, um, how long you wanna hold that trade for, whatever the case is, but this is how I back test. I do not press the replay button because the way I just showed you right here, I can get more reps than anybody that's hitting that replay button. I can probably get 30 times more reps than anybody that's hitting that replay button because I have a simple strategy. All I want to see is if it's hitting that level, if it's giving me a setup and I'm taking it, is it a winner or a loser? Boom, on to the next day. So make sure you back test because those reps is going to help you. Now, the next thing a lot of people waste their time on is not using a demo, okay? Not staying on demo as long as possible, guys. Listen, guys, you need a demo because the demo is going to help you practice. It's going to help you see these um, strategies in real time. It's going to help you get used to seeing everything in real time. Because if you go to a live account too fast, what's going to happen is you're going to lose a lot of money and you're going to slow down the process, okay? Remember, we are trying to chase consistency right as quick as possible if you just go to live right away guess what you're gonna lose so much money you're gonna have to repeat the process because now you're not used to the market so get used to the market first and then switch to a live account now the next thing is most traders focus too much on win rate right they waste too much time on win rate remember we're talking about things that it's going to slow you down guys focusing on the holy grail trying to look for a hundred percent win rate 90 percent win rate Guys, it doesn't exist. So what you should do is focus on a strategy that's gonna win most of the time and then, right, go from there. Because you could increase your win rate when you increase your experience, right? Win rate usually comes from experience. So if someone has a high win rate, usually that person has good enough experience to actually 
have that high win rate. So don't focus too much on the holy grail or high win rate because it's going to hold you back. The next thing that's going to hold you back, guys, is trying to size up too fast, guys. Stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. The reason why it's going to hold you back is because let's say that you made $2,000 last month. Now, all of a sudden, you want to risk half of your account on one trade. Guess what? If that's a loser, you just lost half of your account on one trade, okay? That's gonna set you back, you know, months or years if you keep doing that. So stop doing that, size up little by little and work your way up to that 5K a month. The next thing is understanding the bigger picture when you start, because if you don't understand the bigger picture, you're always gonna quit or you're always gonna change the strategy. So the bigger picture is your trading account is gonna go up and down, up and down up and down okay it's never going to go up in a straight line so that's the bigger picture sometimes your trading account might even consolidate a little bit you might have break even weeks whatever and then next thing you know boom it's going up again so understand the bigger picture understand that don't let the pullback weeks or the weeks where it's break even discourage you to switch a strategy focus on one strategy the next thing is take screenshots guys listen the pros you know they always look at film every sports player quarterbacks um tom, i was looking at a, a video the other day tom brady he was looking at the film all the time okay think about it he's a quarterback so he's reading everybody right before he's throwing the ball right so he's he wants to know okay what's going on the same way you want to know what's going on when you are trading so you have to take screenshots these screenshots will help you understand what's going on in real time the next thing is you want to be picky with your trades what's holding a lot of people back right is you're taking those unnecessary trades in between and those trades are holding you back okay so imagine right imagine if you're so picky you're just taking the high quality trades and if you didn't take those low quality trades you would probably be profitable by now okay so what's holding you back is you taking these low quality trades and you're not really focusing on the high quality trades and the last one guys is don't worry about the money that's going to hold you back worry about the process worry about doing the right things worry about the strategy and your 5k will come if you have a right strategy that has edge and you're doing the right things and you are consistently making money you can actually increase your size and then eventually you will get to that 5k a month so that's all i have for you guys today make sure you don't rush the process understand take away all those garbage things that you're doing that's slowing you down and keep it up because i know you guys can do it right if you want to learn more learn how i trade link below in the description hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you have any questions comment below because i try to answer all your guys questions thanks a lot for your time and please have a great day